Hey, what's going on, everybody? Kins and Crease here again, back in my room that shares between all my characters. Uh, we're sitting in this pretty chair here with a bunch of flowers on it, and you can see my little rappy uh, stuff over here. Now, what I'm going to show you today is all about the mag. Uh, my mag, you could argue, is somewhat messed up because I didn't know what I was doing on this character when I started because I originally started as hunting. I'm like, you know what? No. Let me go force. And then I started going force. I have a couple levels in the defenses. I shouldn't. Uh, that will be changed once I get uh, some level removals for this mag. I will fix it up. And But we're going to go over the stats real quick. Uh, if you were going a hunter, fighter, katana, braver, bouncer with gun slash, he totally... I don't know, I think it totally might be the dual swords. Uh, actually, I don't know what it totally is. I'm using a guy, which I'll link down below. It's a Google Doc. It's split up, uh, you know, between categories. So that's what we're going off. But long story short, if you're using a melee class, where your melee power comes from hitting things with melee weapons, you want to level melee support. If you're a range class, like... A ranger or a braver using a bow or even gunner using the guns you want to level up range support if you're a tech based class you want to level up tech so force bouncer using the jet boots uh, techer and I th no uh, yeah and summoner and then here's the part that I'm confused at with this uh, guide because one I found said dexterity is what you do to raise your base damage. I've seen that though a little bit, but I don't know if it's because my character's leveling up or I'm getting better weapons, so I don't really know. But this guide says if you play Braver or Bouncer or Phantom, I don't know what Phantom is yet, it's not in the game as far as I can tell. Uh, or they're using the Japanese name, so. Again, I don't really know. You want to level up dex. Now, I would say bouncer. You can level up technique because if you're using jet boots, your jet boots run off of technique power. And you can uh, get, I think with force, it's either force or techer, you have the ability to add some of your melee power into your technique power as well so that's why I have a little bit of melee power still in this mag because I do hit stuff with my wand but the good thing to know when feeding your mag or the general rule I go off of feed it weapons based off of what class you are so again if you're a technique class feed it uh, force weapons techer weapons or summoner weapons if you're a range class, feed it the guns or the bows. And if you're a melee, feed it uh, swords, partisans, wired lances, knuckles, uh, that kind of stuff. If you want to raise dex by itself, you can feed your mag, which I will show you if I have different items in here. So first off, you can see how that will raise my melee because it's a partisan. No, it's a wire lance, sorry. Partisan right below it. But you see what that's doing. Uh, if I go to this gun, which is a launcher, it'll raise the range support. If I go to this tail, you notice how it ranges tech and uh, dex. Each weapon raises dex a little bit as well, uh, you know, as it is. The back pieces, depending on what defense they are, uh, they raise different attributes and So, for example, this one here is Technique Defense, hence is why Technique Defense goes up. This one says it's Melee Resistance and Melee Defense. But for some reason, range is going up. I don't understand that. And then this one says it's Melee and Defense, so it's range. So, I really don't know about this, but I normally don't feed them these. So, that's, I guess, something to know. 
But you can also feed it like diamates and stuff. You see how there is a green color now on the decks because that lowers the dexterity support. So any of these items, and you see how it lowers the range support, but boosts dex. So that's one thing to note is when looking at what to feed your mag, find the stat that is most beneficial to your class and make sure you see a red bar, not a green bar. Because that is what you will... Uh, use to raise that stuff. You can also uh, use device if you have an inventory like there's mini tech food I think it is called mini range food and mini melee food you can feed it those. There's also the trigger actions which you can get and change your triggers that your mag has. Currently mine has two recovery B's a uh, recovery J, a stat boost K, and a vulnerability A. The recovery B's, if I remember right, recover health at regular intervals for an, a decent amount. Uh, I for, think stat boost is the same thing as, like, at regular intervals, it'll boost your stats. But one of the uh, stat boosts, it's as soon as you enter a, a trigger event. So, say a rock bear spawns at random in the forest and they want you to kill it. It'll boost your stats for there. There's also... I'm oh, sorry, I have one PP recovery B, not... So yeah, it recovers my PP at regular intervals, I believe, and then same with my health, it recovers that with the B1 at regular intervals. There's a health that recovers a large amount at... with a large cooldown. There's a one that recovers a small amount with a small cooldown. There's a bunch of different things. And the other thing you can note is the auto action. Uh, you can teach it different things where it'll do different stuff. Currently, this one knows grants. And we will go to my skills. So let's do it on weapons. Because I have grants right here. Uh, so, this is the ability my mag knows. It's a novice light technique. Crystallized photons to form arrows of light which rain down on the target. So at level, I believe, 200, it'll randomly start doing that. Uh, my Ranger bag, which you have seen, you all have seen in other videos, shoots things at random intervals. So that's the kind of stuff to know that you can do with your mag. There's different forms depending on what you feed it. If you want to see different forms, I can show you the ones I have, but they're all rather similar. Uh... With that said, don't forget to like, comment, share. If this was helpful, I hope it was, because I know it was a little confusing, but I hope it was helpful, and you guys can learn what to do with your mags. To redo your mag, the last thing I will show you, I believe it's in the AC shop. Check out our new stock! And... Bag reset device. It is $5. It resets your level and support abilities, returning it to its default state. So it goes from whatever level you have down to zero. For three dollars, you can buy a new mag. So you can have twenty up on each character. That's one thing to keep in mind with all of this. Again, I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and let me know if there's any certain things you want help with with the game. Between me and my friends and stuff I find online, like this guide I will link, I will try to bring you information so it's easier for you to find. Have a wonderful day.